Hey there, I'm excited to talk to you uh, about uh, some of the ways that I get engagement on Facebook. So as you will notice, I am actually on my personal profile. And the reason I want to show you this is not because I think you need to be uh, doing all your marketing on your personal profile. In fact, I really don't think that you should. But the fact remains that we are, uh, when we when we walk around on Facebook and we go into Facebook groups and all that stuff, um, we are only able to do that wearing uh, as our personal avatar, right? So um, we're doing it at, not from our business page, but as our as ourselves. And so if you go into a Facebook group and, and you say something that inspires someone else to connect with you, um, about business, they're going to click on your little picture and they're going to be taken to your personal profile. When they get there, um, you probably want to make sure that they can see something about your business. Okay, so if you look at the banner, um, I've said, hey, I'm Jen Laner. This is my personal profile where you'll, you'll find pics of my fa pictures of my family. And for business, I put my business handle there so they can find me. And then also on the uh, intro, it says, I am a digital marketing strategist at jenlaner.com. And then right here, it says, click here to my vi business page at Jen Laner. And so uh, if somebody comes over here very quickly, they could see who I am and what I do and how to connect with me. The other thing I want to talk about is friend requests and how to really use those to your benefit. So if you've ever, sometimes you get friend requests from people who you don't really know and you don't necessarily want to be their friend because you don't want them to see all of your family pictures, etc. But what I propose is that you can pretty much accept friend requests from anyone so long as their account doesn't look like a fake account or a spam account because as I'm going to show you, you're going to have complete control over what those people see maybe and in some cases more control than you would if you didn't accept them at all so let me let me show you what i mean so first of all i'm going to go over here and click on the friends friend request and i can see that i have a few friend requests so i can see here based on the people who we have in common that this is indeed would be more of like a business connection so i am going to click confirm but i am immediately going to add them to another list. And the list that I'm gonna add her to is one that I call ICA, which is Ideal Client Audience. Ooh, sorry. But you could, um, you know, name it whatever, business pro prospects or whatever it is that you want you want to call it. But the point is she is in a very specific list, okay? So as you can see, I have shared a podcast promotion here. And I don't do this all the time, and I'm gonna show you how I did this to stay compliant with Facebook's rules. but. As you can see right here, it says ICA. So the only people who are going to see this are the people who I have put into that list, okay? But I also want you to notice that I didn't put this up here natively, I shared it from my business page. And F Facebook really doesn't like it if you start posting business stuff just randomly on your personal profile, but it's okay if you share stuff over from your business page. All of your business needs to happen first on your business page. Very, very important. But it doesn't hurt to just uh, take this one extra step. And while we're here, I just want to show you a couple other things about lists. So let's say that I want to post something on my Facebook profile and I'm going to say XYZ, okay? And right over here, it's going to uh, default to my ICA okay but that's because I just posted to my ICA but actually I want to do a custom situation so I'm gonna say share with the people on this list my ICA but don't share the with the people who are in this list okay so these are the people who are in my front row group people who are my Facebook friends and also in my my VIP membership group okay so why would I want to do this? I don't know. Maybe it's something where I am trying to bring new members in and it's not necessary that they see it. I don't know. There's a million different reasons why you might want a group to see one thing but not another. I can even make sure that just one specific person does not see that. So that's my brother, Paul. Okay. So I want to show this to the people in my ICA list, but I don't want to show it to the people in my VIP list or my brother, Paul. Second thing I want to tell you about um, is 
something that I did the other day sort of as an experiment, uh, and I, I had such great results with it. It's something that I'm definitely going to expand upon and do again, but I want to show this to you. So you could see, we all know live streaming, it gets the most engagement, right? Like I'm sure you guys have already talked about that, but live streaming is like where it's at. And if you look at this live stream that I did the other day, uh, it says Apple keynote watch party with Jen. And there's me right there in the lower left-hand corner. And um, let me see, I, I can start playing it and show you. Notice how the bubbles splash off the edges and the vapor face. Okay, so what is happening is that we are watching the Apple keynote event the other day. And I, the way I was able to do this was I used a third party app called Ecamm Live. It's unfortunately, it's only available for Mac, but I basically did a live stream using this really easy to use third party software and showed it on my screen. And then there I am down in the corner and that's it. Like I didn't, it's other, I mean, this is other people's content at its finest. So whatever would be interesting, like a something similar, a live event or even a pre-recorded video, or there's all sorts of cool, like Facebook watch shows, a cooking show, like whatever you could create an event around that in Facebook and announce it in advance uh, so people know that it's coming and call it a watch party. Now, Facebook already has watch parties in our group, but I did this on my business page and watch party is not available on a business page. What watch party is, if you don't already know, is that in groups, and I'm gonna show you now. So here we are in my group and you'll notice this little thing here that says watch party. So if I click on a watch party, it's telling me to add a video and I am allowed to add any video as long as it's a face it's on Facebook okay so you can add a video you can have a whole playlist of videos and the idea is that as you watch together it creates a lot of engagement and that's why doing it on my business page was was great as well because a there was a lot of engagement happening underneath the post and Facebook really just wants to see a party under the post whether any post, but they but they want to see conversation not just with you, the host, but with the people to each other. So that's exactly why they created this watch party thing. And the more you can achieve those parties underneath your posts, the more Facebook is going to reward you and show your stuff to more people because it's sending a signal to Facebook that, hey, this person has is doing interesting things. People are interested in what this person has to say. Okay. One other thing that Facebook has given us is called, they've added this thing called Premiere. Okay. So this is on your Facebook business page. You may or may not have it because they're just rolling this out and sort of testing it, but it's the same, it's all centered around the same idea. And that is basically all Premiere is, it's a recorded video, but when it plays, it shows a blinking red light in the left corner that says premiere, 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 which makes the viewer's mind think live, live, live. So the idea is that more people are gonna watch this because it looks and feels like a live event. And if that's the case, people are going to be commenting underneath and there will be engagement. People will be watching at the same time, even though it's pre-recorded. Again, Engagement, engagement, engagement. Facebook wants to see a party under the post and this is one more way to do that. So check it out and see if you have that feature and think about what kinds of pre-recorded content you could show to your audience to drum up some engagement.